This is George from Itech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new entry in Asus's new motherboard lineup based on the Intel Z77 chipset. It is the P8Z77V. The P8Z77V is the base model in the V series of the lineup. However, a quick glance at the box lets you know that it is a very, very feature rich motherboard. Going through, you can see we've got Smart Digi Plus with dual processors for EPU and TPU. Basically, you've got one processor which allows for energy savings, one for overclocking. One click overclock and one click energy saving. The energy saving EPU actually works like a backwards overclock. Rather than you setting the speed you want, it's you actually set the wattage you want to use and it's going to back down everything accordingly. Moving on, NVIDIA SLI and AMD Crossfire support. Both will support quad GPU or Try SLI or try Crossfire with single GPU cards. Lucid Logic's Virtue MVP, allowing for hybrid graphics using the iGPU. DTS audio enhancements. Intel Z77 chipset. I obviously support for LGA 1155. And HDMI output. Going over to some more features, got Wi Fi Go. The Z77V actually has a built-in Wi-Fi, um, which can be used also as a Wi-Fi access point. So if you're hooked up, you don't even have to have necessarily a wireless router in your house. If you were hooked up by LAN, you can actually have other computers or wireless devices connect to the Z77V itself and use it as a wireless access point. Uh, also, Wi-Fi Go allows for streaming across your network to any DLNA compatible device. Also allows for remote control of the unit and um, screen capture as well as file transfer between devices with one touch. Moving on, precise power controls. Um, the P8Z77V with the Smart Digi Plus 2 allows for quite a bit of controls of your voltage going in. It is an A plus 2 phase VRM. True UASP support through AS Media for enhanced USB 3.0 speeds. iNetwork control, which will allow you to actually set priorities to your programs as to what is going to get network access. Also allows for time schedules for network access. And finally, Easy BIOS um, flashback. Uh, Asus now features a one touch BIOS flashback. So, should you crash the BIOS, throw in a uh, USB stick with the BIOS on it, one push of a button, and your BIOS is restored. Moving along to the back of the box, we get a closer look at some of the features. We also get a look at the board itself with the Wi Fi antenna coming off. Dual intelligent processors with Smart Digi Power. Uh, Digi Plus power control, as we said, two separate processing units, one overclock, one energy savings. Both can be uh, controlled through a switch on the board itself or through AI Suite 2. Uh, the TPU, which is the overclocking, has two distinct one-click options, one for a standard overclock, one for an extreme overclock, whereas EPU allows you to actually give a set point of power usage you want and it will clock everything down. Asus Wi-Fi Go, as we discussed, um, going to give you complete control of the computer through a connected Android or iDevice. Also allows for one-click file sharing. Most importantly, it will allow the machine to act as a DLNA server, allowing you to stream any of your media across the computers or devices on the network. Fan Expert 2 allows for very precise fan control of each and every one of your fans individually. It's no longer a just set uh, silent, turbo, standard as far as fan control. Each fan can be individually set and controlled. Also, there is now an Ace iSuite 2 with Fan Expert 2, um, a mode to actually have it physically test the fans and see exactly where they start up and where they finish at full power, and it can then be programmed from there. Lucid Logic's Virtue MV, uh, MVP, allowing for, as I say, hybrid graphics, allowing the iGPU and a discrete GPU to work together in the best possible manner. As far as expansion slots on the P8Z77V, you've got two PCI Express 16 
one PCI Express 16 uh, 2.0. They can be used in conjunction, as I say, for up to tri SLI or tri crossfire. You've got two standard PCI slots and two PCI Express X1 slots. The PHC77V motherboard layout, uh, very simple layout, very easy to work with, very nice looking layout. As you can see, it's all done in blue with a little bit of black trim, as well as a little bit of silver trim. Taking a look naturally, you've got the big chunky heat sinks for your VRM North and South Bridge, and going through. Obviously, LGA 1155 slot, four RAM slots, you've got one two PCI Express X16 3.0s, one PCI Express X16 2.0, two standard PCI slots, and two PCI Express X1s. You've got two CPU fan headers if you're using a dual fan CPU. One obviously is optional. You've got one, two, and a third chassis fan header. Your SATA connections right here. You've got four SATA 3, four SATA 2, motherboard power connection, memo K button is right here. Should you ever have a problem with um, your memory compatibility, the memo K button can go into the BIOS, set it up accordingly so you will get a boot and will be able to get in and set up the uh, memory correctly. Moving down, you've got your EPU and TPU switches. Simple flip of the switch can cut down your power consumption or boost your processor speed. Got your front fan, uh, your front headers right here, USB header, USB 3.0 header, and moving along to the side panel, or I should say rear I.O. PS2 port, two USB 3.0s which are run by the AS Media controller, two USB 2.0s, your Video output, HDMI, DisplayPort, DVI, and RGB. Optical out for audio. Two USB 3.0 off the Intel controller. And Intel Ethernet, giga, uh, Ethernet gigabit, gigabit LAN. Uh, just because this is the baseboard in the series does not mean any components were skimped on. They obviously were not. They use the Intel Ethernet controller, and it is a gigabit. 7.1 audio with the outputs right here. Moving along to the back of the board, very nicely soldered, laid out. Once again, blue finish on the back of the heat sinks, while the back of the CPU stock uh, socket stays chrome. So all in all, very nice layout, plenty of room to work with, everything is easily accessible and logically laid out. Heading into the box to take a look at the accessories. First, utility and driver's disc with ASUS tag inside. A very extensive user's guide. Obviously very thick, multilingual. Will give you just about any question you can possibly, or answer any, just about any question you could possibly have on the motherboard as the setup. Supplements on HDMI. Exclusive feature. Wi-Fi Go, Fan Expert, uh, Network Eye Control, and USB Charger Plus, and a user's guide for the Wi-Fi Go card. Rear I.O. plate, what ASUS calls Q panels, they are actually extenders for your front panel connectors, you would actually plug them in here, then the entire piece would plug into the motherboard. Makes it a bit easier to work with. SLI bridge. And the actual Wi-Fi adapter, which comes separately and plugs into the motherboard and antenna. And finally, two SATA 3 cables, two SATA 2 cables. The ASUS P8Z77V is really a beautifully designed and laid out motherboard, uh, as well as constructed with all of the best components available. Taking a look, you find AS Media and Intel controllers on board for USB 3 as well as uh, SATA, and an Intel Ethernet Gigabit LAN. 
Uh, going further, you're going to find that it has built-in Wi-Fi with the Wi-Fi able to be used as an access point for other devices on your network. Of course, with the built-in Wi-Fi, you're also able to take advantage of Asus's Wi-Fi Go, which allows remote connectivity through other devices on your network, including Android and iDevices. Uh, DLNA server works very well, allowing you to stream any media on this computer to other devices on your network as well. Moving on, taking a look at the USB 3.0, which takes advantage of the Z77 chipset, which has USB 3.0 native. Uh, USB 3.0 Boost it will increase speeds of your USB 3 transfers up to 170%. Looking at the VRM, you've got an 8 plus 4 plus 2 phase VRM with dual processing units for EPU and TPU for either one touch power savings or for one touch overclocking. You also have complete control over the VRM uh, with very precise controls through the BIOS or through software. On the entertainment front, uh, you take a look, you've got built-in 7.1 audio with DTS uh, audio enhancements, and also you've got outputs for DVI, RGB, HDMI, and DisplayPort. As far as gaming, you've got the three PCI Express X16 slots, two of them being 3.0, one being 2.0, with quad GPU capability. The P8Z77V uh, may present, be presented as the base model in the V-Series, but it is a very, very feature-rich motherboard that is going to satisfy just about any application you can possibly imagine.